Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Tuesday. I have I have a sweatshirt. This is it. It's a big ass. It's sweatshirt. a four X. And usually I like I have a red one. That's a three X. Well, I got it at uh, Burlington, and I usually like to work out when it's cold. In I don't like constricted clothes anyway. Unless it's hot, then I wear my tights and stuff. It's really stupid, but. I felt I, I kind of I kind of know what you're saying. I know where I was going. Do you remember when I told you this reminds me of the '80s? Because back in the day, we wore tight pants if we did legs, but we always wore your heavy in the winter. You wore your heavy your heavy sweatshirt to get your pump on, and that's why I like baggy stuff. I think I am stuck in the '80s. Because remember my pants back in the day? You had probably the, are. Had the strap deal with the baggy legs. Yeah, you've those? never had a pair of straight front flat. No. Short So I, I think your black ones are, but anyway. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I got one. You, uh, yeah, go, 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 go. Of course. As a best friend. Right. Well, we consider ourselves brothers. Right. Basically, <clears throat> we are, so. At what point... Does something become a secret? Or should you be able to go to your family member with anything, rather good or bad? Well, you've got to find that one. Me and you. I got something. Been killing me. Mm -hmm. Killing me. I am pretty much going to tell you. Right. Because <clears throat> until I'm almost dead, I probably won't tell you. I know. I know. And the deal is, I just want to get it off my chest because I'm mad. And I'm like, and this is where this will go, I think, for, for me and you. I'm, I'm, I'm mad, and I just want to say it. Whether you say I'm right or wrong, I don't care. But I just need to go, I am so sick of this woman. Or I'm so sick of this job. Or I'm so sick of this so-and-so. And I need somebody to, to vent to and frustrate to that will say what's on their mind and not go, you know what, I felt the same way I would do. That would go, you know, you're an idiot. Or, I, you know what I mean? Well, in every relationship, there's a power side, I believe. Yes. And w there's a big brother or a big sister. And usually the big brother or the big sister or the dad to the son or the mom to the son, whatever. There's usually one power figure. And not in a bad way, but... You are the big brother of this relationship. Correct. Because you're so damn old, really. And I wear baggy clothes. Yes. You're in the 80s. In the 80s. <clears throat> so I think it's easier for you to come to me because you don't care what I think. Right. It's harder for me to go to you because I care what you think, even though I know you're the most non judgmental person Correct. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, the moral of this story is. If I don't come to you with my problem or my gripe or my problem, you can't help me with it. Right. And you damn sure if something comes out can't defend me if that, you don't know. That's that's a that's a big thing. I, it's it's hearing it from the horse's mouth and then you having then I'm able to to concern and don't, that doesn't mean you always have to stand up and go, hey, it don't matter what he did, I'm I got his back. Yeah, no matter what he did, I got his back, wrong or right. I'm still going to have your back. But I think a lot of people don't, like like you, it takes down, it takes down to the last, I'm going to take my last breath, so I'm going to tell you this. And, and it's a deal of, dang it. For you, it's, man, I don't want to listen to I it. I don't want to hear it. That's it. Yeah. And for me, I want to say it, and he's going to give me my opinion, but I'm still so hard-headed. I really don't listen to what he says. I just hear him talking back to me. Well, folks, he does listen. <laughs> it just takes him two or three days. Yeah, that's, the, thing thing. that's the process. That's the process. And I am one of those guys that I know what I want to say, and and I'm going to say what i got to say. They call him, in the hood, they call him ride or die. Ride or die. Comment right now who that person is to you. That'll be you. Who is your ride or die dude or chick? Cause, Comment. Because here's the thing. My ride or die with their name. Yeah, because mine is you. I would kick Stephanie out and she would go ahead and die and I'd be okay to ride along. No, I'm just kidding. I, 
We could probably get Stephanie just to drive us. Yeah. The thing is, it is. It, 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 for, for so long, and, and you're going to have this person, and I think our whole deal is there's somebody in your life. And, and I'll, I'll be straight up. There are things I will not ever tell Stephanie. I will not ever discuss with Stephanie. There's no need for me to discuss with Stephanie. That's about me and him. Right. And what could be going into the future, what could be going into the, it doesn't it doesn't matter. But but I will and I will say this. The one thing I wish I would do is is express my whatever's going on yeah. sooner because it relieves that it's like that rock. Yeah. It's like taking that big stone off your back when you tell somebody. I will tell you this though, over the years you have gotten 900% better. Been more 900% better. And I think it's made me an overall better person. Totally. Agree. Not not just in this relationship, but everywhere else. Used to, I would hold that, I'd hold it in until I just can't take it anymore and that's not a good sight. Right. Now it's like, I wish you wouldn't do that. Yeah. I wish this that was different. Happen. And it makes a big difference. Communication, folks. Communication. It is. It is. It is. It is key. It is super duper key. The winner of the Thursday Wing Basket is Melissa McKinney. I don't know where she's from. I don't know if she's close. But if she is, Ooh. Melissa, your name will be at the counter at the backyard anytime Thursday to come in and get you a lunch. A, a, a lunch or you can come in yeah. any time and get it on Thursday. But it is wings and then I would love for you to comment on our show or on our backyard or Yelp or TripAdvisor, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all those things on what you think about those wings. And I'm so confident you're gonna love them that I, it's gonna I, be nine. I'm ready for Thursday lunch. Now Everybody that else, everybody else that was in the shares, because there was 25, I believe. This as of this morning, yeah. So good, y'all are all in for Friday, yeah. except for Melissa. So we're gonna put everybody from yesterday, today, Wednesday, and Thursday in for Friday and and draw. And I want to give a shout out to my buddy in Amarillo, Mr. Randy Boone, who was hungry, and it's I pretty think hard he to get probably wings to you. Yeah, it, he'd, I'd have had to box them up, and send them to me. So, but. Put your share, you know, like, share, comment. And hey, we still we have the regulars that are there that have been watching this show from day one, like Donnie Edwards, your mom, Shane Christian, and my mom. Yeah, she better Shane. watch. Yeah, Shane does. Uh, that you guys that you don't really know what it means to us that you're still around. Yes. Look I'm at not that. just saying that trying to get a better price on our camera Cameras, install, yes, Shane, yes. but you know what I'm talking about. And back <laughs> in the day, he never would have said that. Probably not. Probably not would have said it until Shane put the cameras in. And I'm going to say this. Shane and them have done a lot of work at the backyard. A lot of work. The camera system, a whole lot of the audio, uh, computers. They just came out and changed the power source for us. CTIS. Him and Kevin and those guys do a great job. And I can't say enough about them. Because and they usually give us a... A really good deal as long as everybody else in town. And change the lead singer of 35 South. Yes, and that'll cost you 100 bucks for that plug. Bam! Bam! Let's go do this all week. We get these cameras mm -hmm. for free. Hey, man, have a wonderful day. Just communicate. We're really back to that part of just communicate. Whether you like, whether you know you're going to get an ass chewing or not, just communicate. Because in the end, be like Chris. Weights off your shoulders, feel a whole lot better. Yep. Until tomorrow, watch, like, share. Lunch specials right here. It's been up a while. I forgot to put it up. What is the day? Let me. I'll say it out loud. Because there's a lot of people that just listen. Yeah. Good there's call. a lot of people that just listen. The say is uh, Tuesday. Stuffed peppers. So I'm gonna go with those stuffed bell peppers. Probably gonna be really good. Yesterday was barbecue sandwich, right? Barbecue chicken sandwich. Good. And the reason I'm saying that, I'm going to say I'm not going to eat there today because I'm cooking some stuffed bell peppers at my house tonight. Are you? Yeah. Whatever time you're coming over, we ain't going to be there, though. Let me say this. There's a new deal that I found. 
It's an egg thing, and I know I'm talking about food, but it's an egg thing. It's made like it fits in your pan, and it's kind of rubbery. And I know it's going to be on an As Seen As TV. It's red, and you can crack your eggs. You can put your hash brown. There's six of them, and they make them absolutely perfect because Stephanie likes these frittatas now. And all you do is make pancake. You just Kuna pick them frittata? up. Kuna frittata? frittata. Flick it over. I don't know why I got that in there. Until tomorrow. They need to send us 100 bucks, too. Thinking about my plugs. Till tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out of here.